What up everybody, this your man, Don T, coming at you with another hot Kai NPC Renaissance tutorial. Today's topic is going to be about the Looper. In the new 1.8 update from Akai, released a couple days ago. Um, this is a nice little feature because the Looper allows you to pretty much overdub your audio, your live audio from the inputs in the NPC Renaissance. So for example, I have a Motif XS hooked up and I like this jazzy um, guitar sound. Love it. So um, I'm going to set up my sequence. So um, let's go back to the main mode. I got a 8 bar drum loop so far. Eight bar drum loop. Okay. Um, so I want to put, you know, I want to record some live audio. So I'm going to go to shift, sample, edit, and there go my looper. Um, sometimes the sampler menu will come up. You can just click it over to looper. Um, I'm going to clear this loop right here. Um, now, in my looper window, as you can tell, I have different options. Like right over here, I have I have record, replace, play, reverse, um, number of bars, um, sync sequence overdub. Um, since my drum loop is eight bars, I know my loop is going to be eight bars. Um, so I'm gonna just set that to eight as well. Um, if you got a four bar loop, you can set it up to four. It would not it would not affect your drums. Um, you would just have to you know customize it the way you want, but. The number of bars is for the looper, your direct record. It doesn't have anything to do with the drums. I just ha happen to know, I just want to start out with eight bars and I want everything to match up. But the looper itself, their bars is different from your NPC bars. So I'm just keep that in mind. But if you want everything to be intact, just make everything the same. Okay, so... I'm going to toggle back to the main screen since I know I'm going to use direct record. I'm gonna, right here it says program 1. I'm going to change that and name that looper because I know that's where I'm going to save all my loops from my audio so I can, you know, be organized. So I'm going to toggle back to the looper function and get busy. So I'm going to play my, my drum sequence. Not my looper, but my drum sequence. Okay, now I'm going to go back over to my looper. Hit record. One, two, three, four. Now the cursor is giving me the option to record my loop, but I'm not ready yet. Two, three, four. Now I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut this overdub on the looper off. Now, if I wanted to add some more, you just cut it on and add some, like. Okay, now as you can tell, I didn't have the overdub on. So I'm gonna cut it back on and record that little piece.
Okay, sounds good. Something to work with. Something to get me in the groove while I'm writing music. So, I'm going to hit export. And, as you can tell, I named it Jazz. You know, gives me the option to name it. I'm going to name it Jazz Line. Jazz Line. And it says program. What program do you want to save this loop under? Remember in the beginning, I saved it. I named program one Looper. So I'm going to scroll down here by the arrow and choose Looper. And what pad do I want to save it on? Um, we're going A1. We play it. Okay, we're going to hit do it. Okay. Hit do it. Now I'm going to toggle back to the main mode, hit track 2, got my looper, got my looper right here, as you can tell, got it right there, it's say right there, we can play it, okay, and we can put sync that right in. That's how you do it. Now I can add, you know, a plug in or something else. So let's use the bank. How you do it, the looper. You know what I'm saying? That's simple. Nice little groove, you know, just to get you get you some ideas on how you want to do your production. So, you know, rate, comment, subscribe. I got more videos coming with this 1.8. It's bad, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Kai. You know, they really did this one. You know what I'm saying? But shit, man, if y'all ain't got the NPC Renaissance body now, man, y'all missing out. You gotta get it. You gotta get it. Peace.